Casey Anthony was found not guilty of murdering her daughter, Kaylee, a verdict that sent shockwaves through much of the country. In his new book, Inside the Mind of Casey Anthony, forensic psychiatrist Dr. Keith Ablo draws some interesting conclusions about the case. We should note that in writing and researching this book, he did not speak to George and Cindy Anthony or Casey, but he did talk to many relatives and friends. Dr. Ablo, good morning. It's good to hey, see good you. Good morning. Well, we should get that out of the way. You don't have a connection to this case per se. What is your qualification to write a book like this? Absolutely. Listen, when you create a psychological profile of somebody, you have to get enough sources. So her friends, boyfriends, relatives, innumerable sources, thousands of pages of documents in order to piece together who was this woman and why did this happen? Well, we know what happened. Yeah, so many people do wonder about that. I know one thing you did was pour over some of the police interviews in this case. If the trial established anything beyond a reasonable doubt, it's that she is an accomplished liar. Her own lawyers acknowledge that. What do you see in that behavior? Well, here's the thing. This is a woman with no internal self. She grew up with a psychological assassin for a mother. We're talking about somebody who didn't even know her own daughter was seven months pregnant. Well, you use Can that. That's you a pretty imagine? loaded term. What does that mean? It means that she was intent on not recognizing Casey Anthony as a real person and somebody worthy of responding to in a genuine fashion. Why else would she permit her father, why would Cindy Anthony permit her husband to be at the foot of the bed when Casey Anthony delivered Kaylee? Can you imagine? the humiliation that that subjects a woman to. Well, I know but you she do. wasn't even there. You, At that point, she was annihilated already. We, I know you draw a lot of conclusions, in particular from that episode where George Anthony is in the delivery room as his daughter gives birth. Outrageous. I mean, just to play de devil's advocate here, here's a single unwed mother. <laughs> yeah. No, but I mean, some people might say, well, who's going to be there to support her At the in foot the delivery of the bed? room? Well, if you didn't have all the other facts of not knowing that her daughter was pregnant for seven months, of the fact that when they find the car, the car's been missing for a month. They've been told, listen, you know what, we found it two weeks ago, and George Anthony says, it smelled like death to me, and I worried whether my granddaughter's corpse might have been in there. You know what he does next? He goes to his 10 buck an hour job as a security guard. This is who Casey Anthony grew up with. Well, are we surprised? Let's get to the bottom line, though. You say, are we surprised? I mean, you think Casey Anthony killed her daughter? Is that what you conclude? I present five theories. The theory that holds the most water psychologically, I'm not saying this happened, but psychologically, if you lined up ducks in a row, you'd say the night when Cindy Anthony threatened to take Kaylee from Casey was the end of the line. Casey said, I'm not going to watch my daughter annihilated the way that I was. She got a tattoo later that said beautiful life, symbolizing her daughter's short but untortured relatively life compared to her own, and she released her to the heavens. All right. Well, uh, we will never know, I suppose. Dr. Keith Ablo, the book is called Inside the Mind of Casey Anthony. Thank you for your time. Thank Appreciate you.